Ah, yan. Ah. What do you think? That was good. <laughs> okay, Bryn. I need to put that up. Bryn. Yeah, we brought Tom. Let me turn it up, please. That's here. not his, is it? Are you outside? Yes, it is. She's dating. Somebody here? Oh, I can oh, hear you. Here. Oh, I see your face. Oh, this is Dana. It's Wendy? Dana. Oh. Oh. Dana. Oh, my bad. It's next door. Oh. He's showing up now. Sahara. We can grab what you're gonna like halfway open that or you're gonna. Oh. What'd you get? What's your, uh, you're Todd. You're on twenty percent battery. Oh. Yeah. What's your itinerary? Oh, Sarah. Oh, okay. <laughs> My itinerary. Yeah, when you're coming, the time and the date. Chip. Chip. Huh? He's busy. Just so that you're checking him. Yeah, go see what your itinerary is when you're coming. Yeah. All right. Somebody's knocking on his door. He's gonna see when he's coming. He does have a plane ticket, you know. Yes. It's for January. <clears throat> Somebody was here. Come on in. Come in. Come on. Maybe they have stuff and they can't open the door. That's not where I'm at. Oh, my God, Johnny! Oh, my God, Johnny! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! 
Merry Christmas. <laughs> There's a story behind this. Hey, Grandma. What's the story? The story is yesterday we had this plan to surprise everybody. So we were supposed to pick him up at the airport at 5 o'clock today. And we were just going to hang out at the house. But last night I got a knock on the door and it was Caleb and all Cody's friends. And they showed up, hey, my mom made cookies and this, that. So I said, well, come on in. Lisa's not home yet. And I said, now listen, guys, I got a surprise, and you can't tell anybody. I said, tomorrow at 5, Cody's coming in. You can't tell anybody. They said, really? Well, we got a surprise for you. I turn around, he's coming in the back door. I thought, were you rotten butts? So Lisa's not home yet, so we hide him in the house till she gets in the door. And then, of course, sets Rennie and her. Well, Rennie spotted him immediately and came running down the stairs and freaked out. And then Josie and Lisa come home, and they, we hid him upstairs and then they, he come down and of course his mother lost his mind <laughs> yeah so we tried to be snakes with you guys and we got snaked by his buddies and him so anyway okay well he's got to go now all right go back to work <laughs> okay carry on with your presents <laughs> no big deal <laughs> Right here, boy. Right here. We were gonna open his present for my day. Oh my God. So he's been home for two days. What? And I tried to get you to come home yesterday, and you didn't want to. I wish you would have told me. Well, we couldn't. Cause we got a very special spirit day, guys. Listen carefully. Y'all all realize that those kids picked. There was something crazy going on. They're my kids and they're Miss Better's kids. But then the other three, their dad, this is for them. Their dad has been fighting in Afghanistan. He came home last night and they don't know it. They have not seen their dad in over a year, guys. This is a big deal. You cannot say anything. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to play Minute to Win It. My kids are going to lose. Miss Vedder's kids are going to lose. And the prize is going to be dad. So you have got to be quiet, okay? Okay. So we've got to act normal, okay? Can we act normal? Yeah! All right, let's give a big round of applause to our Minute to Win It contestants as they come back in. Can we get, let's clap for them.
minute to get to see their dad for the first time in a long time. Hey, who's here? Who is that? Who is that? Mama, who is that? Mama. Oh, she's peeing everywhere. Mama, who is that? <laughs> Mama, who is that? Is Daddy home? Yeah, she peed everywhere. <laughs> oh, BB. She's so happy. Oh, Mama. Your daddy's home. Don't pee on me. <laughs> oh, She's so happy. Did you go clothes shopping already? Good morning, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the promotion ceremony of Captain Michael Ray Morris. A ceremony reaching far beyond the promotion of now Major Michael Morris. He chose to have his ceremony in his hometown of 96. In Put their life on the line. Inside the First Baptist Church. Major Morris says they shaped him into not only the man he is today, but the leader he is becoming. A lot of men sitting in the audience today uh, taught me um, what it meant to be a true leader. Um, not just a leader with institutional knowledge, a leader that knows how to lead folks. And uh, that's what I attribute it back to my parents and, and the leaders that served uh, in front of me. One of those leaders is this beautiful woman, Major Morris's nanny, Miss Shirley Leopard. Well, she meant a lot in my life to me. This ceremony is typically held in Columbia, but Major Morris says after learning it was up to him to decide the details, he soon realized this day wouldn't be for him. I was coming to visit Nanny uh, the next day, driving through Newberry, and I said, you know what, this will be Nanny's day. And little did Miss Leopard know, she would have the honor to pin her grandson. My grandmother is um, terminally ill with cancer, and uh, it's an honor to have her do it. I don't know much, how much longer she's going to be around. That might be uncertain, but one thing is not. This soldier has made his nanny the proudest woman in the state of South Carolina today. I'll tell you that I love you, and I'm thankful for you to... I'm thankful for you to be able to pin my rank on me. As Nanny wiped those tears of joy, she couldn't let us go without letting us know this. You know, when he was growing up, he was a little stinker. And I had to whip him several times. But I am proud of him today. A motorcade through the streets of South San Francisco was an unexpected welcome for PFC Matt Zander. Still overwhelmed a little bit. Before the 19-year-old Army soldier was greeted by dozens at City Hall. Today we're welcoming home uh, Matt Zander. His family met with the Patriot Guard riders to prep for his homecoming. To honor another A quick prayer and it was off to the airport. Not much sleep last night. Where Dad Kirk Zander. It's been almost a year since we've seen him. Rushed to the terminal gate. The countdown's been on for a week. With his wife and family. It's very emotional. I just can't wait to see him. Moments later. There he is! Xander appeared among the passengers and walked through the crowd straight into his mother's arms. <laughs> Xander was applauded by strangers at the airport, greeted by high school buddies. It was awesome. Well, I haven't seen her in almost 10 months, so it's, it's good to see everybody. He looks different. He looks different. Left, left an 18-year-old kid and came back a 19-year-old man. And there was more once he got to City Hall. I was just with my family and friends, but not all this. A presentation of coins and a plaque. We knew that this was a young man that deserved to be celebrated returning home from Afghanistan. Xander was part of the police department's explorers program in high school. It's a little different going on ride along patrols in South City and then going on patrols in Afghanistan. And he plans to join the force after the army. That's where I grew up so I want to work here. And as soon as he's age ready and as soon as he's done with his commitment to the U.S. Army we will take the steps to put him in the police academy. But for now this homegrown soldier plans to relax. He gets 16 days before he heads back to base in Fort Hood, Texas. Living life in South City, that's all I can say. Xander's family just wanted to give him a welcome home to remember in a city that he can't wait to serve. In South San Francisco, Christina Rendon, KTVU, Fox 2 News.